Types of stories for personal branding. This is a good story to sum up some basic facts about yourself. It can be a great introductory story to put in your bio, to post it in the homepage of your website, or even share it with people you are introducing yourself to. You can tell the story of why you are a lawyer or a manager in your firm, how you got to where you are, what inspired you to become today's version of yourself. Overcoming a challenge. This is a great story to tell anyone who needs some convincing of how capable you are to overcome an obstacle or to someone who might need inspiration. Tell the story of how a problem was presented to you, how that affected you, and how you managed to conquer the challenge. These stories were great to showcase skills like creative problem solving and temperance. Using your identity in your favor. As the name says, this story lets people know how you use your identity to your advantage. In this day and age, identity has a special role in making connections with people. This type of story might require putting yourself out there and getting used to being a little vulnerable, but it can also be one of the most inspiring and moving tales. Let people know how your gender, your identity, your race or nationality did not stop you from getting where you are. On the other hand, tell how it can be a source of strength and different perspectives. The Reluctant Hero The Reluctant Hero is an archetype where a very regular person is thrown into special circumstances that force them to grow and become a hero. This story might also refer to a special person who is compelled to use their powers in a way that they did not expect to use them in order to survive or become a hero. Both variations can be great to showcase how interested you are in being present in a certain moment to solve a certain issue. We can see this speech frequently with politicians. Just make sure to not sound arrogant. One tip I can give you is rehearse and test your stories with different friends, family members, clients or colleagues to know how they react and get input. This applies with any kind of story you make. Why am I here? The why am I here story centers around a problem and why you feel compelled to solve it. It also explains why people should care about that problem too. This is a great story to shine a light on an issue you're fighting against. It also does not require the same level of vulnerability of other types of stories, since it focuses mostly on the problem. It can be a very good way to showcase why something is important to address how you, your service, or product can help to solve it. The Visionary Story The visionary story describes a future where something that is yet not possible is achieved. This is a story often used by many inspiring leaders fighting daily injustices or tech visionaries who believe in a more innovative and advanced world. It works very well to set the audience in a headspace where they enjoy something that they currently do not have access to and tells the people how they can get there. 